next dimension. Hello guys, I'm Cover Sorry from Down with the Latest News Episode 8, the December 14th patch. Now, if you've been a new subscriber or you just haven't seen the series, the latest news is pretty much a series where I go and just say my opinion on the latest patches, meaning the latest news. Really catchy, isn't it? So, I just say my opinion and pretty much does it hinder the game, does it help the game, etc, etc. Now, before I start, this episode will just have gameplay behind it. Now, this is because I can't buy every weapon due to money, I'm not going to spend like a hundred bucks to try every weapon and it'll just take too long to ask people to give gameplay to me edit it render and upload so next patch if you're one of the first people to get a weapon or try the new mode or try the new map and stuff like that please send the one to two minute gameplay so I can just put it in and of course thanks will be sent in the video and description so you can get your nice little shout out now the first one in this patch of December 14th is Oper Operation Neptune update now what happened Operation Neptune came last patch and was a really really good map I liked it myself it's a very symmetrical so no one had a real advantage but it was only one balcony like balcony is a way you could go from one side of the map to the other so that was pretty much congested and the one on the floor was no one really went there because it just took too long so the new stuff that's happening is that a new second catwalk has been added and both catwalks ha now have additional cover so you can just camp around there, shoot with sniper rifle and stuff like that. Now the balcony railings which is pretty much has been removed, they're all gone now. The reason is people used to just camp behind there and because they're bulletproof they were pretty much invincible so they've been removed so you can pretty much walk off the ledge and die so you have to be careful on those now but it's much better for the game. Now the entire first floor and side path have been removed, so that first floor, boom, has been gone. It's not, and it's not existing anymore because no one was using it. So it's all on the catwalks now. Now new game modes have been added, One Man Army, Spy Hunt and Quarantine Region. Now I think One Man Army really really good in the snap because it's symmetrical, you know it doesn't really matter where you go, it's just going to be a really really good mode to play on. So I think I'll play a bit of One Man Army on Neptune but you don't know, it depends how many rooms are open and stuff like that. Now PRs are a clan war map that went to normal servers, been updated with several new game modes. Elimination, Elimination Pro, Capture the Flag, Spy Hunt and Last Man Standing. So it's just going to add a whole new variety to mine and hopefully get that more on the server instead of just junk fleeing death room. Even though they're good maps, I just like to see a bit of variety, see a bit of wave rise, see a bit of pump jack, stuff like that. Now the Hol Holiday Wolf has been re-released for Christmas and now the permanent option has been released to the public for the first time. Now last year when this came out it was 30 days and 90 days I believe. Now you can actually get it for permanent for 2900 NX whatever whatever it is for a normal sniper rifle. So it's quite expensive but you know the Holloway Holiday Wolf it's just a, such a great gun. You got the L1115 scope and you got the suppressor and you got the cool camo. You know why wouldn't you buy it? Now there's a new supply crate, Mist and Juliet, which has a new weapon, Raven's G36C. Now I've seen a couple of reviews on this gun, I haven't had my hands on it, but it looks unbelievably overpowered. It looks really, really, really good though. It's overpowered, but come on, who doesn't want to use an overpowered weapon? Now the camo looks awesome, the gun sounds awesome, the fire rate's awesome. The only thing that's a bit lacking is the damage, it's a thing that's about 2 down to the G36C, but the fire rate's like 10 more, so it completely comes it back so it's an unbelievably good gun from what I've seen on YouTube. I haven't had a chance to check it out but I'll make sure I might get a review in there if I do get my hands on it. Now there's a new GP, GP weapon How Type 89. Now I did a review of that so I'll put that in an annotation right now and in the description and I have to say it isn't a very very good gun. I, I gave it a 4 out of 10. The only pretty good thing about it was that it's accuracy. Everything else was bad. The recoil, the damage, ac um, the recoil, the damage, the portability was alright, you know, there wasn't really outstanding stuff towards it. And even the void accuracy accuracy was good. You got the G36E anyway, so why even use it? And for a second lieutenant gun, it just doesn't take the cake. 
Now, there's a new forge weapon in the gun emporium. The Yuletide Persuader. I always get that wrong whenever I say it, but the Yuletide Persuader. And it requires a G36C, but not the G36LE, so that was, I was a bit sad about that. Because I wanted to take my G36LE, put my 20 replica pallets in there, boom, make this awesome gun. A really, really high damage, a free shot kill from a G36C, because that's what it requires to make it. A nice portability, a nice recoil, it's much lower than the G36C. And you just put 20 replica pallets, boom, you got this awesome gun, because I've used it in the game. Got a massive ultra spade, ultra spray, the reload's really fast, because you can put like extended mags to get like 50 bullets, only takes like 3 seconds of reload, so it's a great, great weapon. And if I do get the 20 replica pallets, which I don't have, I will make sure I forge and maybe do a review on it. Now, there's a couple of Mark II weapons out. There's the L85A1, you know that one without the scope, not the NX version, but just the normal. Now, I haven't tested that out, obviously, because I don't have the weapon. But, you know, it's an L85A1, it's just got that burst mode on it, should be average. Now, the MP5 mod, lots of people don't know the true potential of this weapon. Is a really, really good gun. The normal MP5 mod, it was a really, really good gun. Because it had an MP5, but it had suppressor, which pretty much lowered the recoil even more. So you just go for headshots, boom. Wherever you aim, you're going to get that headshot because the recoil doesn't kick up. And you know they've got the ACOG scope in there as well. It's a really, really good gun. Now this Mark II version, I haven't tested it out myself, but I'm thinking this would be even better. More damage, less recoil, stuff like that. So if I get my hands on it, sure I'm going to buy it for permanent because it seems really, really good. Now, there's a whole load of new customizable weapons, so you can add all in the gun emporium and stuff like that. The M1911 MEU, the SGG5 Camo, the L96A1 Gilly, the M107 CQ Air Force, the Anaconda Black 8-inch, the G3, the M200 Gilly, and the SG556 Camo. Now, I was a bit sad that the L96A1 Gilly was customizable, but not the L L96A1 Arctic Wolf, because that's what, that's what I have. And I pretty much just want to increase the damage, increase the re... Um, in, not increase the recoil. What am I talking about? Increase the accuracy, increase the fire rate, stuff like that, and just make it a better weapon. Because at the moment, the Arctic Wolf is pretty much outclassed by every other sniper rifle in long range and medium. In close range, it can hold its own, but other weapons in medium and long will just completely beat it. And also, we got the M107 SE Gilly and the Desert Eagle Gold. I'm sure you all know that when you sign up for Combat Arms, you get a recruit package. And within that, you get a Scar L, L96A1, G23, and a heavy vest for seven days. Well, next in the thought to get more people playing a game and playing for longer hours and just staying up all night and stuff, they'll chuck in some EXP and GP passes. I'm not 100% on what the passes are, like I'd 100% or 25% if someone could post that in the comments, because I don't have a low rank account, I haven't just started one, I'm not going to make an account just for that reason, but I believe it would be, EXP would be about 200 of 200, 100%, like they gave us on the Santa attack one, and 225 for GP, but I'm not 100% I'm not about that, so please post in the comments. Now, there is a new sale for Christmas, a really, really big sale, and I'm really excited about this. I re really don't get excited for sales because, you know, I have to put money into Combat Arms, and I don't like it because Combat Arms is not not such a good game in relation to last year and the year before. That's what when I put my money into it. Now, I'm not so inclined to just because the game's kind of going downhill. But this, this might actually make me put some money into Combat Arms, which I vowed not to do many, many months ago. I'll play in other games, I will, I'll play Combat Arms, but I'm not going to put money into it. I think this sale might change me. Now, take 25% off the following permanent NX weapons. Now, this is stage one of the sale. Anaconda Gold, CZ805, Jackhammer, M1866, MG21 E Steel, MG42 Steel, NZP-1, to T2, the TRG-41, XK8 Tactical, XMA, and the WA-2000. They are all permanent, they're all coming back, and you take 25% off them. Now, you're thinking, now that's going to be a really, really good idea, because you're thinking a, a permanent sniper rifle is $30, so you divide that by four, what's say? Oh, I, I, I can't even think of my fee, but something like $7, seven dollars 7 14 21 28 you know, it's about 7 to $8 each. So, you, when you take that off, it's actually a really, really good price. It's less than an assault rifle. You know, if you need that first gun, boom, there it is. 
Now, there's a buy one, get one free. Now, on this day, I believe it's the 22nd of December, the MS cases are going back. Every one of them, everyone through A, through G, are going to be back. So, the Alpha, the Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, Golf, Ho Hotel, India, and Juliet. So, you buy one of each, you get one free. Fantastic. If you're going to just try to get a permanent in there, or you just want to stock up on weapons, boom, there you go. And you're guaranteed to get at least a seven-day weapon. So if you don't get the one you like, you can just sell that back, that sell back that seven-day weapon and get a good amount of GP. I think it's like 5,000 or something like that. Now, weapons obtained from missed crisis are not guaranteed to be the ones you own. That is very much a question that everyone's been bugging. Is the weapon I get from the missed end going to be the same as I've already got? If I've got a permanent L96A1, can I get a permanent L96A1 from these cases? That is true. That is a completely true. If you get a permanent weapon from the cases and you already have it, the next one's going to do nothing for you because you know you're going to just sell it back and you know that. They've got their money. You've got your item even though you've got it. So you just got to stick with it. And you can sell it back and stuff. Now, the Kaluka cases have been updated. So, throughout the whole year of 2011, all the new weapons and all the new gear have been stuffed into the Kaluka case. So, that's one thing. If you're going to buy something, make sure you buy the Kaluka cases. I'm not going to buy the M M MSN cases. I'm going to buy the Kaluka cases because I know I'm going to get something decent there. You get five items, and each one of them is like seven days or 30 days and 90 days and permanent. The all good stuff in the Kaluka case. The MS cases are just not that good. You know, you can take a gamble. Yes, you get seven day weapons, but you never know what you're gonna eat. You can get a pistol, you can get a knife, you can get absolute rubbish. So now the next one, take 25% off 90 day GP weapons. So for a person that doesn't buy an X like me, these sales will be very, very good for you. Take 25% off 90 day GP weapons. So that's a TRG21, Gil a Galil Ace, MG42 and more. So there's going to be other weapons that they haven't released at the moment. So they're just going to hold it back until the sale. So it's hopefully going to be like 10 or 20 weapons. You can just go and stock it up for like years on end. And also 25% off the supply case MSG. So you know that one where you get absolute rubbish on? Boom, you've got that 25% off. So you want to waste your money on that, go for it. Now, the one part of sale that I'm super excited about, the real, really super excited about, is the permanent gear. And you're thinking, oh, it's permanent gear. You have to pay an X for it. No, this is old GP. Pranks the bandana. Shapika, Max, all for GP. Now, when I hear Max, I'm going to buy it because I like automatically like all mercenaries, you know. And I haven't got a female base. Everyone's got a female base to set me. I just want to see the fuss with them. So, I don't know. It's so, like 100,000. I'll be buying her, you know, just testing around, like, what her vest is and stuff like that. But the Shapika, I'll buy that as well. And the pranks of the bandana just because it looks awesome source. Now, next in thought, that'd be cool to release another weapon four days after the new patch. No, they weren't going to put it in this patch. They're going to put it in the next patch to make more money, which is smart of them. They are a company. Come on. If you're going to make money, you try to do whatever you can. So, the new weapon is a VB Pararati. I can't even say its name. LPO2. So, we're just going to call it LPO2 for now, just because it's such so easy to say, and I don't want to say its whole name over and over again. So, the description next and says, The LPO2 is the first submachine gun designed and manufactured in Malaysia. The weapon fires pistol rounds and comes with extendable foregrip, allowing it to be either used as a submachine gun or a mas machine pistol. Now, the difference for that, I've honestly got an idea. Some machine gun, some machine gun and machine pistol, it both fire bullets at a very, very fast rate. We don't really need to care. It's just a submachine gun that's classed as, and it actually sounds really good. It feels really good from the reviews I've seen. It looks really, really futuristic. You know, there's really Star Warsy games, Star Trek, you know, all the laser cannon stuff like that. It looks like one of those guns, but it shoots the bullets, obviously. But it looks really awesome, and if I had money, I would buy it, but I don't because I don't want to waste it on combat arms. So it's actually 24900NX for the permanent, same as all sub machine guns, and 11900 for 90 days. So very much that it was the whole patch, that was the 16th, the 14th patch, and including that little sale on the end. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more latest news, just go put it in the comments, and I'll just see what I can do. But other than that, it's Undercover News, or if down under out.